Okay, just gonna do this video on Edward Fenninger and just showing you how how come Edward Fenninger does not expose Roman Catholicism and do videos on Roman Catholicism. You go here on his channel, Edward PF123, and you go to videos and you see, you know, he is uh, doing videos attacking people and it's like all he does is attack uh, other preachers and some of the people he goes after do have false doctrine, that is true. But like you just scroll through his videos and he almost has nothing exposing Roman Catholicism and that combined with the fact of he actually has Catholics that comment on his videos. Like it's Gene Kim attacking Gene Kim there, uh, Robert Breaker and that kind of stuff attacking him there too. And I'm not a follower of Robert Breaker. There is attacking Peter Ruckman, David Hoffman, he's got a video on him too. Uh, Robert Breaker. I mean all he does is spend time attacking other preachers. And some of them are false, I will give him that. You know. Uh, there he is going after Brian Dunlinger. Uh, you see, he'll come after everyone. He'll come after Brian Dunlinger. He'll come after Steve Anderson. He'll come after Robert Breaker. He'll come after Gene Kim. He'll come after Peter Ruckman. He'll come after, you know, he'll come after me too. You know, he goes after everyone else, okay? But it's kind of funny too because he doesn't take correction on anything. He'll correct everyone else. Everyone else is confused. Everyone else is in error. Yet he himself is never in error. You try to correct him and he just won't take it. The same thing with his followers too, the Edward PF123 cult. But I'm just scrolling down and he's still just nothing on Roman Catholicism. There he is attacking Gene Kim, Peter Ruckman. Uh, there's uh, Brian Dunlinger again. Uh, Brian Dunlinger again. There he is. I think that one was on me. Or not not me. That it was. Uh, he did do a video on me trying to refute my stance on the biblical fact that salvation is not the same in every dispensation. Uh, there is Gene Kim again, Gene Kim, Robert Breaker, Robert Breaker, let's see what else, uh, Brian Dillinger again, Brian Dillinger, Brian Dillinger, Brian Dillinger, Brian Dillinger, you know, and again, Brian Dillinger has his problems, I've done my own videos on Brian Dillinger, he, uh, you know, is very prideful, he's a cult leader, got all kinds of problems, but it's like all he does is attack other people, there's Jack Smack going after him. And again, I've done my own videos on Jack Smack, but I don't just sit around making videos attacking people, you know? There is attacking JT Does, who's another prideful heretic. Well, not a heretic, but, well, actually, he is a heretic in the sense of he's re re not repenting of his errors. Um, prideful, you know, JT's got his own issues. He's very prideful, uh, just like Brian Dunlinger. Uh, there he is going after Brian Dunlinger again. Brian Dunlinger. Uh, see what else? There he is trying to use uh, man's words to try to overthrow the fact you know, trying to use man's words on dispensational things, dispensational subjects, I'll put it that way. You know, he submits the words of men above the word of God and, and puts the words of men to the same place of scripture, kind of like a Catholic would do. Uh, there is Stephen Anderson going after him. Uh, Gene Kim again, Stephen Anderson, Gene Kim, Robert Breaker. Uh, there he is going after uh, Bruce Mejia. Robert Breaker again, Stephen Anderson, Stephen Anderson, there's Stephen Anderson again, goes after Stephen Anderson. Uh, more Stephen Anderson here, Stephen Anderson, Stephen Anderson, uh, Peter Ruckman, there's, uh, uh, there's Gene Kim again, going after him, going after Andrew Sluter, uh, there's Gene Kim again. See, he comes out against everyone else, but you know, he won't take correction himself. Like, again, you try to correct him, he won't take it. See, everyone else is false, everyone else is confused and, and wrong in doctrine, except for Edward Fenninger. See, Edward Fenninger and his little cult, his Fenninger, I call it, they're the one true, you know, they're the only source of truth in the body of Christ. They're the only source of the truth, basically. Uh, also, one of Fenninger's big heresies is he says that eternal security is not part of the gospel. That's a big heresy. Um, people who reject eternal security are not saved. Just, I'll put it out there. People who reject eternal security are going to hell, okay? If you reject eternal security, you're going to hell. No way, no nice way to put it, okay? Because you reject the righteousness of Jesus Christ and you're trusting in your own self-righteousness, okay? Because eternal security is understanding that God is who saves you. You don't save yourself by your righteousness or your holiness. You see, it was Satan in Isaiah chapter 14, 12 to 15, verses 12 to 15, who want to ascend to heaven by his own self-righteousness, okay? Conditional security heretics have the same mindset of Satan because they're of their father, Satan. That's simple, okay? Eternal security is taught throughout the Bible and it is a salvation issue. Again, if someone rejects eternal security, they're going to hell. 
that, that's just that's just plain and simple. Okay, if you reject eternal security, you deny the blood atonement. You deny the righteousness of Jesus Christ. You're trying to earn your salvation by your own self righteousness. You're not trusting in Jesus Christ and His righteousness. You want to ascend to heaven by your own righteousness, just like Satan did in Isaiah 14. You know, and, and there's so many scriptures that prove eternal security. There's uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. You're kept by the power of God. You have a place in heaven reserved for you that doesn't fade away. Ephesians 1, 13. Ephesians 4, 30. 2 Corinthians 1, 21 and 22. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit. You're sealed until the day of redemption. You're sealed by God. You know, John chapter 10, verse 28 to 30. You know, you can't be plucked out of God's hand. You will never perish. John 5, 24. You shall not come into condemnation. So many scriptures. John three sixteen. You should not perish. I could just go on and on and on. First, our Second Timothy four eighteen. You're you're uh, preserved into His heavenly kingdom. Again, I can just go on and on and on. So many scriptures that prove you can't lose your salvation. But you just again, you scroll down. There he is going after Brian again. Uh, again, Brian Dillinger again. So you, again, like, why is he not exposing the Catholic Church? You know. And again, it is biblical to expose false prophets, you know. And some of the stuff he's brought out on Brian Dillinger is, you know, true. I mean, Brian Dillinger is a cult leader. Brian Dillinger is an error in some areas. But it's just funny how Edward Fenninger goes, comes out. I mean, again, some of the people he comes out with are false teachers. But a lot of the people he comes out against are sound biblical teachers like Peter Ruckman. And I don't agree with everything Ruckman says. But Ruckman is right on a lot of his doctrine. Uh, Fenninger doesn't like that. Uh... So it's just interesting how you won't attack the Roman Catholic Church, you know. And he actually has Catholics that, Catholics that comment on his videos, like this Alex Canis guy. And he never reproves him. He never says, hey, the Roman Catholic Church is a pagan cult. You should get saved, you know. And I will admit I have left comments on some of Alex Canis's videos on Brian. However, I make sure to put in the comments, hey, by the way, Roman Catholicism is a false religion that will send you to hell. You know, Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult, it's a pagan cult. That's all it is. And Fenninger is not spending his time going after the Catholic Church. There he's attacking Brian over his scriptural stance that interracial marriage is a sin. Attacking Brian on that. So just interesting how he won't go after the Roman Catholic Church. You just again scroll down. Uh, Brian Dellinger again all of Brian Dellinger. You know, just I find that interesting how he spends all his time attacking other preachers and his little circle of friends, they spend all their time attacking other preachers but they won't go after, they won't rebuke false religions like Islam Roman Catholicism, Hinduism, you know Judaism, whatever, they won't uh, rebuke or go after like the Sodomite movement, the feminist movement, the pro-abortion movement, they won't rebuke a lot of the evil of this world, all they do is spend their time sitting in front of a webcam attacking other people who disagree with them, it's like a cult almost so I just wanted to bring that up. I found that very interesting. And it shows you how they have some kind of connections, how he won't reprove Catholics that are commenting that are commenting on his videos, and he just doesn't spend his time going after the Catholic Church. It's weird. So don't be deceived by this fending or cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.